Jericho is among the oldest cities in the world, and it is also the city with the oldest known defensive wall. Archaeologists have unearthed the remains of more than 20 successive settlements in Jericho, the first of which dates back 11,000 years to 9,000 BCE, almost to the very beginning of the Holocene epoch of the Earth's history. Copious springs in and around the city have attracted human habitation for thousands of years. Jericho is a city in the West Bank. It is the administrative seat of the Jericho Governorate of the State of Palestine. Jericho is located in the Jordan Valley, with the Jordan River to the east and Jerusalem to the west. In 2017, it had a population of over 20,000 people. Jericho is described in the Bible as the City of Palm Trees. Aleppo is one of the oldest continuously inhabited cities in the world. It may have been inhabited since the 6th millennium BC. Aleppo is a city in Syria, which serves as the capital of the Aleppo Governorate, the most populous governorate of Syria. With an estimated population of 2 million residents as of 2021, it was Syria's largest city until its population was surpassed by Damascus, the largest in Syria's northern governorates and also one of the largest cities in the Levant region. Excavations at Tel Asada and Tel Al-Ansari, just south of the old city of Aleppo, show that the area was occupied by Amorites by the latter part of the 3rd millennium BC. Such a long history is attributed to its strategic location as a trading center between the Mediterranean Sea and Mesopotamia. Byblos, also known as Jebel, Jebel or Jubail is the city in the Kezerwan Jubail Governorate of Lebanon. It is believed to have been first occupied between 8,800 and 7,000 BC and continuously inhabited since 5,000 BC, making it one of the oldest continuously inhabited cities in the world. During its history, Byblos was part of numerous civilizations, including Egyptian, Phoenician, Assyrian, Persian, Hellenistic, Roman, Fatimid, Genoese, Mamluk, and Ottoman. The city is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It was in ancient Byblos that the Phoenician alphabet, likely the ancestor of the Greek, Latin, and all other Western alphabets, was developed. Varanasi, also Benares, Banaras, or Kashi, is a city on the Ganges River in northern India that has a central place in the traditions of pilgrimage, death, and mourning in the Hindu world. The city has a syncretic tradition of Muslim artisanship that underpins its religious tourism. Located in the Middle Ganges Valley in the southeastern part of the state of Uttar Pradesh, Varanasi lies on the left bank of the river. Varanasi, the center of the Bhojpuri cultural region, is one of the world's oldest continually inhabited cities. Kashi, its ancient name, was associated with a kingdom of the same name of 2,500 years ago. The lion capital of Ashoka at nearby Sarnath has been interpreted to be a commemoration of the Buddha's first sermon there in the 5th century BCE. Damascus is the capital of Syria, the oldest capital in the world and, according to some, the fourth holiest city in Islam. Known colloquially in Syria as Az Sam and dubbed, poetically, the City of Jasmine, Damascus is a major cultural center of the Levant and the Arab world. First settled in the 3rd millennium BC, it was chosen as the capital of the Umayyad Caliphate from 661 to 750. After the victory of the Abbasid dynasty, the seat of Islamic power was moved to Baghdad. Damascus saw its importance decline throughout the Abbasid era, only to regain significant importance in the Ayyubid and Mamluk periods. Today, it is the seat of the central government of Syria. As of September 2019, eight years into the Syrian civil war, Damascus was named the least livable city out of 140 global cities in the global livability ranking. As of June 2023, 
It was the least livable out of 173 global cities in the same global livability ranking. As we conclude our journey through time and history, these five ancient cities leave an indelible mark. From their rise to fall, they echo the tales of bygone eras. If you enjoyed this expedition into the past, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for being a part of our channel.